In this video lesson, we're going to learn about the sign of the trigonometric ratios, right? Uh, let me tell you here, if uh, I have coordinate axis, all right, and if this is uh, my x-axis, if this is my y-axis, this will be my x-negative axis, this will be my y-negative axis. And if I'm here, all right, and if I have a, a line, let's say, now let's say this is O and P all right this time angle OP is making angle theta all right so uh, from this X to this Y you know this is called first quadrant and this is called second quadrant this part and this is our third quadrant and this is our fourth quadrant so how are the trigonometric ratios how what are the values what are the sign of the trigonometric values let me tell you here we have a very simple rule for that uh, always follow that rule all right that rule says uh, from fourth I want to tell you it's C A S T cast all right C A S T cast cast here C represents one thing this uh, this C represent cos and the reciprocal of cos that is sec means in fourth quadrant cos cosine i mean to say all right you can say cosine and secant sec both are positive all right these are positive and rest of these all values are negative all right and in here all this a stand for all all positive all right in first quadrant every trigonometric ratios sine cosine tangent secant you know cotangent everything cosec everything all all trigonometric ratios are here positive and here s represent sine you know here it's all and here represent sine and cosec all right cosecant here sine and reciprocal of the sine is cosec so these two are positive and rest of these all are negative means here tan is negative cot is negative sec is negative right and uh, cosine is also negative here and in third quadrant t stand for tan you know tan and reciprocal of tan that is cot so here we have tan tangent and cotangent both are positive and rest of these all are negative all right uh, rest of this means sine is negative here cosine is negative here cosec is negative here all right secant is negative here all are negative here okay so keep in mind in first quadrant uh, all the trigonometric ratios are positive and in second quadrant sine and cosec is positive and third quadrant tan and cotangent is positive and in fourth quadrant cosine and sec is positive so to learn it we have very rule cast right very good rule uh, you can say cast just remember this and you'll feel really easy all right so if i'm saying uh, if i'm saying sine 30 degree then what you'll understand uh, I don't want to tell you what is the value of sine 30 but yes here I'm just telling whether it will be positive or negative and in next video I will tell you how you can find out the trigonometric value any value anywhere all right just uh, just here just learn whether the value is going to be positive or negative so here I'm saying sine 30 so sine 30 is where this is in the first quadrant 30 comes in first quadrant and there everything is positive means my result is going to be positive if I'm writing here tan 30 then that value will be also positive if I'm writing here suppose uh, uh, cot uh, 49 then that will be also positive because 49 this is 0 this is 90 degree this is 180 degree and this is 270 degree and again it will come here 360 degree all right so in this reason uh, you know you need to learn like suppose I'm saying uh, sine of uh, 179 now tell me where it is 179 this is 180 so 179 will be a little smaller all right this will be 179 means i'm in the second quadrant and in second quadrant sine is always positive means this value is going to be positive and in the place of this if i have taken cosine of 179 degree then that time i'll get negative because in the second quadrant cosine is negative cosine is positive only in fourth quadrant all right if i'm writing here now suppose tan 179 then again i'll get negative because in first quadrant i have just sine and cosine positive all right if i'm sine and cosec positive if i'm writing here cosec 179 degree then yes i will get positive because here sine and cosec both are positive 
now let's say uh, we have uh, caught uh, 250 so 250 now this is 180 and this is 270 so 250 will be somewhere in this third quadrant and in third quadrant I already told you right T you know I mean tan and cotan cotangent both are positive so yes we'll get positive value and similarly like if I'm saying uh, uh, sine of uh, 239 Okay, 239 will also come in this region because this is 270 and 180. So in this region, I will get here now negative. Why negative? Because sine is negative in third quadrant. Sine is positive only in second quadrant. All right. And if I'm saying like uh, cosec of 222, suppose. So that time again, I will get negative value because cosec is negative in third quadrant. Cosec is positive in second quadrant. Right. And if I'm writing here in the place of cosec, if there was sec uh, 1. Uh, 95 and now see here 195 it is 180 so 185 will be a little here I mean again this will come in the in the third quadrant so again I will get here positive value all right so you need to know whether I'm going to get positive value or negative value first you should know that and after that I will give you the trick how to find out exact value all right like how to uh, find out like exact what is the value of 230 what is the exact value of 210 right multiple of 15 we should know or multiple of 30 you can say we can well we can find out all the trig values all the trig trigonometric tables value if if that thing is the multiple of 15 or 30 okay uh, well <clears throat> uh, we can find out everything but that that is easier uh, like similarly here if I'm writing uh, if I'm writing tan and uh, 290 and now tell me 290 is where yes 290 this is 270 and this is 360 so 290 is going to be in fourth quadrant and that time I'll get negative value because tangent is negative in fourth quadrant and if this was cosine of 290 then yes I will get positive value because in the fourth quadrant cosine is cosine and secant both are positive value and if I'm writing here now sine 300 then how, what I'll get yes sine is again negative here so I'll get negative value all right so similarly you need to know whether the uh, trigonometric ratios are going to be positive or negative all right by this rule cast rule all right uh, you can give any any uh, name to that uh, people learn in many different ways i learn like cast and people learn in different different way like after school uh, uh, time to college all right and many many things you can give you can learn in you can give your own uh, i mean own words to remember I just remember remember by this cast rule in my school and I feel easy I hope you also like this all right uh, so in next video we're going to learn how to get the values uh, how to get the exact trig, uh, trig ratios all right so see you next video goodbye